mile has a big field and a short run to the turn. Post position and tactics will be major factors here. Big Bang Theory has gotten a lot better with each year, and his two tries this year are the best of his life. He is still fresh for this with borderline competitive figures, and his connections are conscious of saving ground. Note the number of rail trips. Grand Arch got better from three to four, and much better this year. He's now in the best form of his life, and two of his last three are better than anyone else has run this year. Lynch has done extremely well as Santa Anita. So this gelding has a lot in his favor, but note the series of wide trips. If that happens again, he could waste a big effort. Kagan is similar to Grand Arch on number power, but a little less likely to run his race. The two top efforts back-to-back -back could cause a slight regression, and Cassie's record at Santa Anita is not great, but this gelding could still be used here at a big price. Mustajib will take some play here, but he's facing much faster horses than he did in Europe. He'd have to improve substantially to contend. Obviously, he's run a lot of good figures in his life, and his last one would have been better if he hadn't gotten off poorly. This one is a tricky call. He should save ground on the lead, making whatever figure he runs worth about a point more. But he also started tailing off this time last year and D'Amato is not as hot now as he was a couple of months ago. Tough to trust, tough to throw out. Sayad has turned to a very solid grass horse with strong figures in all four stars this year. One of these days he will get an inside trip and win a big one. Seek again broke through at Saratoga, then went back with a difficult trip at Keeneland. On his best, he's a contender, but he's only run that fast once. Tom's tribute has a very healthy developmental pattern, with two of his last three figures very big, and he is well rested for this. He's likely to run his best now, but note he's been getting outside trips in much smaller fields than this. Beyond this race, we think this one is on his way to becoming a serious racehorse. Toronado was a tremendous spring and summer three-year-old in England last year before being stopped on. This year he's just as fast, but really no faster, and that's not good. Figures that beat three-year-olds early in the year aren't as effective against good older horses at level weights. And at this point, he's only a borderline contender on number power. This one would almost certainly need a new top to win, and we'll take a shot against him as the favorite. Toronado does pick up Lasix which makes him more of a threat. Obviously, he had a huge work, and if he runs one of his good ones, he'll be tough saving ground on the lead. But the clear value in the race is Grand Arch. Here, Velasquez has an inside post, and the horse has enough speed to just follow, obviously, on the rail. 